versus how to play. Here we go, guys, going into that pick ban phase. Hana's gonna be on the left side, but how to play has the first pick, Evan. So having the first pick, uh, would you risk that pre-ban on Gianna, or would you bank that Hannah's not gonna pre-ban it and you try to steal it away from him? I would try to steal it if I was in that position, <laughs> if I was being totally honest with you. I'm a little bit of a greedy player, though. How about you? Yeah, I would do the same. We have to remember that there's ragdoll on both sides too. So pre-ban on Hathor for the side of Hannah and pre-ban on Chiwoo. That came a little out of left field, to be honest. I wasn't expecting something like Very that. Very interesting. No LDs pre-bans. They are just going to let, let it all on the field. Now, something that I noted is that Hana is not really a Ciara and Gianna user. We never saw them pair Ciara with Gianna throughout the whole time we were watching. Yes. There it is. How to play locking down Gianna early. Ragdoll coming out as a response from Hana. Who's going to be the second pick here? It's a good time to kind of play the neutral game right now. Yeah, but I can see Hana shifting to more of a bruiser comp since he lost the Gianna and he's not going to have an opening to pick Hathor too. So we're not going to see Hathor Gany coming on on this first game. So yes, indeed, Mola. bruiser. Uh, Harmonia probably coming in. Tyrannus, a very strong pick. Let's see if How to Play tries to steal any of those, or he just lets it go and lets him have it and plays full. And that's what we see. He Here steals a Tyrannus. Friends. Nice. Mo Long feeling right at home in this RTA season, coming back with a bruiser as a response to some quick cleaves. Bulwark, and you called it. Yeah, Harmonia. The expected Harmonia. Now, How to Play has to decide Am I going to bring lots of damage to try to nuke these monsters, or I'm going to just control him? go in a slow, late game. His only survivability is Tyrannus so far. So if he doesn't get the control in, it's gonna be really tough to deal with Hana that has the last pick and here the Tian Lan comes in Great. to counter the Ragdoll. Great, I'm a huge fan of those last two picks. Neftis is a giant threat. There's, it's, you always say, one turn immunity is not immunity. So Neftis is going to be a huge threat for them and Tian Lang completely countering Ragdoll. I'm expecting some type of immunity or something to feed off the Bulwark. Nice. Exactly, the Amelia comes in. Amazing against Neftis. Uh, very dangerous <laughs> against the Gianna, to be completely honest. So we're going to see the bans on each side right now. Uh, these players have been playing an amazing season, Evan. Do you expect who to get the first turn right here? I think how to play is going to be taking the first turn on this one. I mean, completely they got, agree with they you. They got the fast Gianna, too bad it got banned out, and yeah. Nefty's with the speed leader. I think everything's set up for them to get that. Completely agree with you. Can he get the control in with only one immunity on the field? Will he risk it? Like, we have to see also, is this Mo Long a vampire Mo Long? That is would it be a cute. Mo Long? That is would it be a so violent Mo Long? I would I'm love guessing to see violent. Me. Because Mo Long would make my evening. <laughs> Early morning. <laughs> and here we go to match number one of the semifinals. Hannah against How to Play. Let's see who gets that first turn. How to Play set up for that. Nefties is going to be taking that first turn. Has a little bit of an awkward turn here. Everybody's willed up at this point, so not a lot is going to happen from that first turn. And shield. We're not going to see any kind of stuns. He only strips the buffs from the Molong. Bulwark five stacks right off the bat here. Taking his time to think about who he's going to be reducing right now, I'd uh, I'd like to chip away at the Tyrannus. Yeah, then fair enough, he chips away at the Tyrannus. Exactly, it's the Reviver. You gotta go for him. There are no heals on that team, so Molong can get the snipe right now and prevent Tyrannus from having that second life. Real quickly, Harmonia gets it. She can protect her team or go for a sleep. Big Reckless and not a lot of damage returning Molong there. Considering Tyrannus is a defense-based monster, not gonna be a lot coming back Beautiful out. Beautiful proc, she gets nice. the best of two worlds. She gets the heal, protects her team, and now she can try to sleep, but remember, the Gany will get to reset. Oh, and Gany, here he comes. He's ready to ventilate. He's ready to ventilate the Tyrannus, but he's thinking about it. He's taking his time to think about this. He's thinking a little long, just making sure it's the right call. Awesome proc from Ganymede, gets everything. Gets the cake and gets to eat it too. And now, Tyrannus in a very sport, important turn. If he gets the proc, he can buff defense. No, he doesn't get it. Now the Ragdoll can chip away again. Remember, he was reset, so now he has another life. You have to kill him, not once, not twice, but three times. That's a lot of death. Tian Lang getting ready to put the defense break out on Harmonia. Nefties with the follow through. Seeing, does, do, do they want to bank the second skill here? Only two out of four. I, I would go for it. You got the Ventilate from Gany eventually coming back. Chooses to hang on to it. I like being careful like that. He knows he'll have an opening. He needs to kill Tyrannus once again. He banked on that. And now he can go for the stun. Molong, is it 2018 Molong? 
Oh, one stone off the bat. So maybe your call of risking it with Nefties was the right one because after all. Because now he's going to lose a whole turn of tempo off that Molong stun. It wasn't all four, but that's I'll take that over nothing. <laughs> that's 25%, that's baby. That's 25%. Here comes Ganny trying to get a very important glancing. I would go for the Molong because the Death Break is the most dangerous threat to his team right now. The Ragdoll will try to kill and maybe a Brock. No, no. that's dot range too. That is so unfortunate that he resisted it because he might have gotten a free kill off. Tyrannus with the stun on Harmonia. And now, again, the other panda gets another stun. Bulwark loses the turn, and little by little, the puck from Nafties might That's the down. turn. That's the turn how to play has been fishing for this whole time. All those debuffs set up. He's going to make some big plays coming up here. Tion Lang just doubling down, getting a nice stun on Molong that nobody even asked for. The desperate Tion Lang just shiny on this match. He has to ventilate up once again, remembering that the Tyrannus didn't die for the second time. So he goes for the aggressive play and he's gonna lock down the team once again. Ragdoll needs to kill him, but no proc for you, sir. So now the Nefties will have the opening to lock him down for one more turn, Evan. Did you expect this? No, I didn't. She's gonna do it again. That was excellent turn counting from how to play, remembering that Tyrannus hadn't died yet. So he didn't need to overcommit to that and ventilate him by accident. He's just seeing who he wants to chip away at, tries to lock down the kill on Mo Long. Big hit with Woo! 7k lifesteal. If he got a proc, that would be a dead monster. But the light panda might finish the job. No. Nice harmonia. Right on time. What Great a sleep. clutch sleep. Hana falling behind now at a three to four monster deficit. Tion Lang lining up for a defense break here. Goes on harmonia. She has the cleanse right now. This match will go down to can you kill Tyrannus so the Ragdoll can start to dominate? He protects the Bulwark. We can see that Bulwark, without buffs on the other side and without the Amelia on his side, has been rendered useless. Bulwark has been a little bit of a dead pick this whole time. And look at this, Nefties is going to keep you from using those damage skills when she silences you. As soon as that, as soon as that immunity gives up, there's not going to be a whole lot of damage coming from this side. This Ragdoll right now, Torrent! But once again, can't finish the Tyrannus fast enough. He does not want to feed the Bulwark, so he doesn't use it again. Once again, the Panda coming in for some stuns, for some strips. Can the Despair Tion Lang shine? No! He goes for the Death Break to try to snipe the damage option at him. Just a Death Break out right now. And it's about this time when you realize Han has been trying to pick away at that Tyrannus for so long and nothing. It's coming up fruitless. There's nothing coming from I that. like his choice of going only for the Death Break because he didn't want to give a lot of attack bar in case to Ragdoll so he would be cut. So now he has an opening with Nefties. Playing it slow, playing it carefully, and no sleep on her. She'll be able to put everyone under four in ability. Big four second debuffs. skill coming out here. This is gonna set up for what might potentially end the game for how to play. Chooses to just go for the first skill off that. He doesn't want to give attack bar once again. Oh, now he does. Now he does. He's okay. like, well, if you're gonna give me a second, <laughs> I might as well just take it. I was surprised, I was surprised. Now the Tion Lang has everyone with death break. I would go for second skill, but if he wants to keep that ragdoll under lock and not risk it, yes, sir! He goes for the With greed. double stun, Evan! Rewarded for that! I love the rewarding for the greed, because it might mean we'll get to see more of it in the future. Ganymede coming out here might be a good idea to just reset the Harmonia, too, if he wants to, to just lock out that, that immunity. Oh, it's already gone! <laughs> he keeps playing extremely carefully. He doesn't want to go offensive. He keeps controlling the pace of the match defending his team with Tyrannus, and now he might get a sniper ragdoll and his dad. Calculated, look at that. Big it's damage. a 4v2, Evan. How to play with the first win of the RTA Season 13 Legend Tournament. That was done with surgical precision. How to play had control over that entire game, and Hana was just fishing for something with the Tyrannus that just never quite got there. He had openings to be more aggressive, like we talked about, but he always chose the safe play, yeah. the less of a risk. He knew his Tyrannus was tanky enough and could take the beating. Yeah. That is so surprising. He'd rather hang on to that control than just risk everything. Like even towards the end, that surprised me. When he went when he went for the first skill instead of the second skill from Neftis, just so that way he wouldn't give the attack bar. I was like, you are so into the late game of this match, you can dedicate that, he can get the attack bar, and when he's silenced, yeah. not a lot of damage is gonna come out. My question is, does that Neftis have a lot of crit rate? Maybe that's why he's is afraid. That a signal? That's is, a signal. Is it a crit damage Neftis? She looked kind of tanky, not very much because she wasn't really hit. Yeah. It was Tyrannus the only one that took damage. Tyrannus was just taking all that damage, too. And he did a great job. He was a wall. He was utility. He got a stun on Harmonia. I, nobody even asked for that, and he got it. 
Uh, but sorry, I will have to give this first match to your boy, Tian Lang. He came up with stun after stun. Yeah. And the death break, the despair stun on Ragdoll. He, he just created so many opportunities for his team to strip and create openings for the Nefties. Yeah, who provided those opportunities? And I will say that from the other side, from Hana's side, while Mo Long was there, I was happy with the Mo Long pick. I liked seeing that strip and stun on the Nefties, just kind of losing the tempo. I thought something more could have come from that. Unfortunately, how to play, just had it under control the whole time. Our players are getting ready for round two of the semifinals of the RTA Season 13 Legend Tournament. Yeah, Evan, and one monster that might be kind of a decisive pick in this second match is actually one that we didn't talk about, Ganny. That was extremely important, ventilating the bear and just bring him back into a game. So maybe this time, Hana does not let the Ganny to the other side. Let's see if the pre bans are the same, since now Hana has the first pick, if he switches it up a little bit, because he has the chance to keep the Gianna or how to play can pre ban Gianna because there were no LD pre bans. You on the see first a match. lot of people just banning out their own monsters because they see don't, they don't have the first pick and they don't want to contest for that. Mm -hmm. Hothor is now up for grabs too, and everybody's favorite AoE stripper, Chi Wu. That's debatable. Maybe not your favorite AoE stripper. You know what? I might expect how to place pre ban on Hathor this time. He went for Chi Wu that time. Now he can go for Hathor. Maybe he was afraid of a Chi Wu Savanna combo too that's very used during this season. Yes, Oh, look you. at that. You called it. Savannah's out. Nefties is out. Han is like, I've seen enough of that. I don't need all those debuffs on me. I like my other skills. So I'll tell you something. We haven't seen Hana play a lot, but how to play has because he does not want the Savannah Chiwu combo. Yeah. And Hana with the Hathor first pick. And now he denies how to play to one of these strongest monsters. The Gianna comes in. Uh, if you are... Hana, do you go for those monsters that can be controlled? Are we going to see the Dragon Knights coming out right now? Or would you still uh, bring some immunity, maybe some other ways to deal with a Gany Gianna? I expect that we're probably going to see some damage units coming out here. I at, at least hope that. A Dragon Knight would be really fun to see. I like the how to play lockdown that Ganymede pretty early just to just to deprive Hana of the other half of the Gany Thor combo. Mm -hmm. Gany's just such an incredible facilitator. Like He'll just make any, any comp work with that ventilator. Exactly. And now thinking about it, goes for the bruiser option once again and stealing the, the Tyrannus. Tyrannus. Oh, great. I love the spite. <laughs> that is so good. The Tyrannus was instrumental last game for how to play. And this time, Hana takes it over. Now, how to play has the option to respond with some fire units with maybe some people that can control attack bars. A Pater. lot of control. Bader to counter the Hathor. I'm not afraid of your Hathor. I can reset her with Gany. I can put immunity on my monsters. Plenty and team. we might see another type of threat right now coming in from how to play. And he brings. Keeping us waiting on this yes. how to play. I can't wait to see this. Yes. The Arda. Arda. The so, Arda. So far, that's so far that's a great pick. There's nothing, there's nothing out here that can immediately threaten your Arda, save for the Molong's third skill, but that's yeah, it's a lot of damage you'd be taking. I, I think. It's, it's kind of dangerous Bulver. into this composition. Uh, the snipe against the Artemil, it's really hard to come back from. I can see a Gianna ban right here and him playing a slow game, sniping off the Arda and going all in. How to play, goes with the Yan Hong last pick. Excellent monster to keep his team just healthy. A lot of sustain, but... Uh, I don't know, I really like Hana's picks in this case. Yeah, There's Hana no picked, revivers. Hana picked really well, uh, and we're going to see the Molong ban. The, the Gianna ban was expected, Gianna, like Yes, Gianna Very was clear necessary. Ban. I think how to play is thinking that if he leaves the Bulwark in, he can maybe render it a useless-ish pick. I don't want to completely say useless, but he's, he has control over how useful that unit is in the mid to late game. The question is, is the first turn from Hathor or from Yan Hong? Who's going to take it? Yan, Yan Hong, Hong does. There we that go. That super fast base speed, so that tells us that this is a violent Hathor, not a swift Hathor. Everyone's on will, shield, because of that big Bulwark. This oh, is the trip, Evan. And there's not a whole lot for Hawthorne to do. She can go with the second skill and try to proc into a third skill, but even then, I think that that might be throwing away a potential for a third skill. He needed that strip because it would give a tech bar to his team, make the Gany go and reset one of the one of the monsters that would kill on his team. Now he has the option to use the combo with Bulwark and with Icarus. Who's he gonna snipe? Going for Pater early, halfway through the life. Can Icarus? Oh. Ganny gets a turn. He can reset the Hawthor if he wants to. Third skill is now locked down. No sleep's gonna come out. Icarus 
Probably gonna fit, finishes off the Pater, forcing How to Play to be at a three to four monster deficit from the start. Now with the reset from Genya, I don't know if the pick on killing that monster was the right one. I would have killed Genny because I'm extremely afraid of Genny resetting my whole comp, resetting the Tyrannus, resetting the Hatho. He's a big threat. If this Archangel starts stunning his team, he's gonna get control. Gets the Provoke on the Yan Hong, rendering her useless for this turn. No sleeps are gonna be coming out from Hathor anytime soon. Like you said, that third skill from Ganny, even when it's refreshed, she's not gonna be able to get one off. There are no immunity stacks on this side, so Hathor is just gonna lose the third skill as soon as it's available. He goes for the reset cool time on Yan Hong. She's gonna have strip, heal, whatever she wants, remembering that she not only heals, but feels attack bar that stun from Tyrannus coming in Big the clutch. Stun. Artemio backing up his boy, backing up his friend Yan Hong right there with a stun of his own. Ah, uh, Hawthor still recovering from that seal magic from Ganny early on. She's still reeling from that. And getting hit by Artemio. Everyone's critting weirdly on this. Let's see if the Bulwark also crits because if the Artemio keeps controlling no crit from Bulwark, he needs that glancing hit to come in on the Hathor because she already has the sleep. He goes, he goes for the Icarus actually. The best of two worlds. He can also use it on Hathor right now and prevent that sleep on the big boy Artemio. Oh, keeps going. Keeps going, he wants to get rid of one of the snipers, Evan. And we're already in that position that we were talking about in the pick ban phase. How to play, just choosing to keep, I mean, Bulwark is not posing any sort of threat. There are no there are no stacks of anything coming out from anywhere. So Bulwark's just gonna be sitting with two for the foreseeable future. Yan Hong charging Vitality on Ganymede, gets a proc, Blade Fan on Icarus to do some additional damage, and Ganymede gets his play of the game. Now he has a big choice. Does he go for the aggressive play on Tyrannus or Hathor? Tyrannus with a big proc. He can give a big punch with a second skill and with or, the or, try, or try a stun on the Arna. Goes for the big hit on Yan Hong. Half the life is taken away. That's like, that looked like Bulwark used all five stacks on her. This is definitely a crit damage on Hong because she only has 30k. She needs this glancing right now. He needs to keep chipping in damage, but the Archangel keeps bringing it back. Beautiful proc. She'll have all skills back on the next turn. Now, Ganny has an opening. He's really chipping away at Icarus right now. Doesn't want to see that third skill come out again. Doesn't want to accidentally use another unit when he's not expecting it. Bulwark here, just going to put a little bit more damage in. There's really nothing to do here. Bulwark was picked into a team with no buffs on that side. That's the thing. That's why he wanted to snipe the Ganny and not the Pater. The Pater feeds the Bulwark. The rest of the team doesn't. Exactly, because now you're almost killing your own unit when you kill the Pater. The Ganymede is just gonna keep refreshing Yan Hong, Artemiel, it's gonna be so annoying for your team. This is down to, can this big Archangel stun and control the other team? If he can, how to play might be able to turn this around. Otherwise, he has full control over this. Hana has it, but now he has the option. Can I snipe this? He goes for her, almost dead. Ganny could finish it off. What we're probably gonna see, Han is probably going to take this into the mid to late game and then one shot somebody as soon as somebody's not expecting it when the HP gets declined. Icarus, not dead, hanging on by a thread right now. This proc was extremely important, Evan, because again, he has seal magic next turn. If he can reset the bear, he can kill the Icarus and not even need that, but she has the nuke. Can she oh do it? Oh my god, can she? Dark recovery! 15k, Tyrannus can make something happen next turn. Does he have wild blow up right now? He might be able to one shot that Yanhong if he does. Otherwise, he'll just have to get some, uh, and there she goes, charge vitality. The reset's coming in once again. He has that choice. Do I go for Tyrannus? Do I go for Hathor? He keeps making the safe play. We've seen that how to play does not like to risk. Nope. He's a mathematical player. Excellent choices. He can play the four turns in one so he resets her again gives a turn back in brazil we call this the bebeto romario because you play you just pass it to each other and keep doing it over and over again how to play is over here playing solitaire making sure that he doesn't fall out of this game even though he lost a monster right away this is actually looking to be more and more in how to play's favor if he can take this game late the archangel is going to start hitting really hard but look at that that's he, big damage the tyrannus will do the same so it's going to end up being a fight of defense defense damage dealers we're gonna have to see how, I'm really curious to see what Tyrannus can bring out because I'm telling you, all of a sudden, he's gonna be able to one-shot a unit as those HP, look, we're already at attack power 30% off and max HP down 30%. We're in some really dangerous territory here. This is a big proc because she has the heal from the second skill coming on and now, if the Archangel can counter and kill her, it's gonna be it's a big deal. Planting. Oh, oh, no kill. kill, but good damage coming in. Hathor still recovering from the seal magic. 
Yes, and remember, this Tyrannus still has two turns after this attack, so he does not have the buff. Once again, trying to kill the Icarus, and she finally and goes. she's gone. Now Yan Hong can either just heal or fill up the Ganymede while you're at it. Fill up Artemio. How I would play love for the aggressive play this time. Go for Artemio. Ganymede's going to take a turn either way. She saves it for the heal. She's afraid of, of the nuke. On the big bear. That's dangerous because now that's giving a little bit of leeway to Hana when he didn't necessarily have to. All of a sudden, Hathor's got this second skill up, and look at Tyrannus. Resisted! Tyr Tyrannus could make something happen. Ooh, not quite enough to kill the The gamble Yon paid off, Evan. He gambled. Now he gets to give the turn to Gany. That resist from the Hathor sleep was huge. Who thinks that sleep doesn't get resisted. How to play gambled when they didn't really need to and then still made it work for them in the end. I think that was that paid off in in full, like in space. That was pretty great. Getting more damage on Tyrannus. Tyrannus might die here. Yes, let, and let me tell you something. They nerfed Gany once, twice. He's still one of the most important monsters in this meta. We can see how great he is even without Hathor. And I can still tell you, if he killed the Gany early on, this would be a different match. Exactly. The whole, could you imagine what would have happened if Pater was still here? Bulwark would have gotten stats. We probably would have seen a lot more heals on Hana's side. Probably, definitely a lot more definitive from Hana's side. And less heals from the Yan Hong. Did yeah. you see those four turns in a row? Yeah. The Archangel starts punishing, hitting hard every time. And I don't think this Tyrannus is taking any more turns. If Hana loses the Tyrannus, this is not going to work. How to play, going for the kill on Tyrannus and the game. That's a 2-0 from How to Play. We already have our first finalist, How to Play. Wow.